I am author Brian Yanish, and I am here reading my book, Pirate Chicken, to a few of my closest friends. So let's get started. Lily was not an ordinary chicken. Everybody see that page? See that? Lily is actually reading a book. You may know Lily. She might be a friend of yours. While the other chickens pecked, she plotted. They roosted, she read. They were happy to live life on the farm, but Lily wanted to see the world. She knew she was meant for more. Everybody enjoying this so far? Let me know if I'm going too fast. So by chance, when a band of pirates invaded one day, Lily saw her moment. I'm scared, clucked one hen. I'm going to hide in my nest, squawked another. I'm reporting for duty, said Lily. The pirates gathered up all the chickens and took them to their ship. What do you guys think about going on a pirate ship? It would be a little scary, right? But Lily is ready for this. At sea, Lily was a fast learner. But the pirates paid no attention to a silly chicken. One afternoon, they stopped at an island, and the pirates forgot one and very important thing. While the pirates sang and danced the night away, the ship drifted. Because you know what? They forgot to throw the anchor. And by morning, the chickens were in charge. Lily, of course, had prepared for this. Her voice boomed across the deck of the ship. All hands on deck. The chickens clucked to attention. Can you guys see it in the back there? Okay. See, so we've got a couple of ducks in front. I'm your new captain and you're me chicky crew. Now Lily taught the hens to read the maps. Hoist the sails and steer the ship. They sailed to fantastic new lands. They sang the rowdiest sea songs and held the most outrageous chicken dances. I bet you guys would like chicken dances a lot, probably. But Lily still wanted more. She rounded up the crew one day. If we're real pirates, we need to pillage and plunder. The chicken crew looked at her blankly. It means we rob and steal and take whatever we want. Hooray! See, they're getting very excited about being pirates. Can you see that? Good. Any questions, by the way, on this so far? All right, very good. Before long, Lily was known by a different name. Redfoot, she ate the most feed. Redfoot demanded the cleanest ship, and Redfoot gave the hardest homework. But the crew wasn't happy. Why do you got to tell us what to do, clucked one hen? How come your nest is bigger than ours, squawked another? And why do I have to do homework if I'm a chicken, cried the third. It was a mutiny. The crew captured Redfoot and made her squawk the plank. This was the end. Don't worry, we're gonna see what happens. Wait, said Redfoot. I once was free. I clucked, I pecked, I flapped my wings without care. But I wanted more than an ordinary chicken life. Now I have more food and treasure than I ever imagined but everyone is afraid of me. Redfoot raised her wings and tossed her hat into the waves below. I am not a terrible pirate. My name is Lily and I am a chicken. That's one of my favorite parts of the book right there. The crew looked at her and clucked to themselves and then they all threw their pirate clothes overboard. All hands on deck. We've got a new mission, my friends. 
Together they found a small island to call home. There they flapped their wings as chickens do. And Lily gave up the rotten pirate life for good. But she still had other plans. So I think Lily is up to some other mischievous things, perhaps in another book. So that was Pirate Chicken, All Hands on Deck. I'd like to thank you for listening. I'd like to thank my poultry audience for joining me here today. Thanks, everybody.